A very warm welcome. Fakalo uh, uh, to uh, you, Jacinda. Fakalo <laughs> How are you? Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time this morning. And uh, after such a hard campaign and you're needing to take a break, are you looking at maybe a, a beautiful little uh, island of paradise uh, oh, for a break? Oh my word. Well, I would absolutely love a wee visit um, to Niue, um, where my where my parents live. But um, uh, unfortunately, I think we might have to wait a little while for that. After the election, I'm hoping to be very, very busy still. And on <laughs> on that note, Jacinda, uh, will your parents be coming over from Niue to join you this Saturday? Yes, yes. In fact, my mum's actually been over for a, um, a little a little while, which has been wonderful. She's been taking such good care of me, um, and uh, hoping Dad will Dad will be over soon too. So it'll be great to have family around. In fact, when we, we had a, a rally a rally in uh, Mangere, uh and uh, some of the some of the women there came out to see Mum rather than me. They're all all friends from Niue, so it was awesome. You know. And, and just to touch a little bit, uh, Jacinda, on that, you know, the personal toll. I mean, we, we see all of the candidates out and, you know, campaigning hard in the lead up to this Saturday. Uh, for yourself, how do you manage such a hectic workload and doubly so since, you know, having been yeah. uh, in leadership uh, of the Labour Party yeah. for such a short space of time? Uh, yeah, and it, you know, I'd say it really takes a village to run a campaign. So, you know, yes, I'm up the front there leading the charge, but there's a lot of people around me working um, and helping, and right, right through from you know, mum, mum who's been helping, um, helping at home, and and friends who I'll come home and they'll fill my my freezer with um, with Kai. It's just, it's been amazing. The amount of support uh, has been phenomenal. Even my neighbours knocking on my door to check if they can do anything. My brother-in-law came and mowed the lawn. Uh, that that part's really, really warmed my heart just to see how much support um, people people wrap around all of us as candidates. I know it's the same for all of our MPs. So we're, we're really well supported. Jacinda, in terms of the Saturday, and I mean the polls being as close as any other, you know, uh, election, as I say, in uh, me- uh, mm. recent memories, how confident are you in the polls currently? You know, hovering around well the forty-ish uh, percent mark uh, yeah. for both Labour and National, especially. I, I actually think they're a bit all over the shop. I've seen some that have us in front. I've had seen some that have us behind. I think probably the upshot of that is that uh, we won't know until the day. Uh, I think what's really going to determine who wins this election is if we have more people vote than usual. If that happens, uh, then I think that we've got a very good chance of of, um, of leading the next government, getting some real change on issues like health and housing and education. Uh, so, so that's why I'm really encouraging people to vote early as well. We know if you vote early uh, before election day, if there's any problems with your enrolment, they can be fixed right then and there on the spot. If you leave it to election day, uh, that doesn't happen. You can't enrol on election day. So that's, that's my real message to voters. Please get out there, vote early. There's early voting booths all over the place. If you want to see where your nearest one is, if you jump on to labour.org.nz, we've got a little tool that'll help you find the nearest place to vote. Uh, Jacinda, yesterday in Morrinsville, uh, not as warm a reception by uh, some <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, corners of your your hometown. Talk to us about this. Well, the water tax, so to speak, and yeah. you know how um, polarising it has been, and in, in especially well, for our farmers. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, um, uh, in that area, uh, roughly two to three percent of land in the Waikato is is irrigated, and therefore might be affected by our policy. So, uh, actually, I, I'm almost certain that a lot of the people who were there uh, wouldn't have been affected by it. In fact, I've been told that not everyone was local either. So, you know, we had a range of people along. But I'm not going to diminish the strength of feeling that that sits around this issue. I think, though, that if I had the conversation, and I will in government with those affected, I'm sure that they share um, my real desire to clean up our rivers. Uh, and particularly in the Waikato, we have some rivers up around where I, near where I grew up that, that just aren't safe to swim in. Uh, so I think everyone's united behind that. We've said we want to use a water royalty, which will hit our water bottlers um, as well, and, and much more so than anyone else, um, because that's a way of contributing to the cleanup. It's either that or everyone pays for that. Um, so we think a, a royalty is a, is a fair way to try and, try and get that work done.
Are we, we we're still looking at the one to three percent? Uh, one, one to two cents. One to two cents per thousand litres. And just to give everyone some perspective, Aucklanders pay a dollar twenty per thousand litres for their water use. So lots of New Zealanders already pay uh, for using water. It's just in some areas we don't have any charge. And we've said one to two cents, which is much lower than what most people pay. Just into another big talking point, of course, over the campaign, uh, with regards to tax reforms, can you tell us, you know, the, I mean, yeah. you, you, initially we were looking at a, you know, getting a, an advisory group uh, after yeah. the election, but now more details coming to hand. Can you give us the latest yeah. update? So, so what we've said that we want to do is we want to have a tax working group to look at, for instance, the fairness of the fact that, you know, people who go out and uh, work uh, 40 hours a week, you know, they pay tax. Uh, someone who gets all their money from buying and flicking off homes in a lot of cases aren't. So we wanted to look at the fairness of that, but also we wanted to look at the fact that we've got a housing crisis uh, and the worst home ownership we've had in 60 years, and we need to do everything we can to fix that. So yes, I'm going to have uh, a working group look at that issue. We won't, um, uh, any changes we adopt will come into force until after people have a vote next election. Uh, but when it comes to things like income tax, and that obviously affects more people, we are not proposing any changes to income tax. Your income tax will not increase under Labor. What we will do is actually the opposite. We've got a package for families that means that 70% of families will be better off under Labor than they would under National because we want to use things like working families to increase support for our lower middle income families. They're the ones who need it most and that's what we're going to do. Uh, oh, a little bit of an emergency near me. Okay, I, I hope that's not you causing all that ruckus, Jacinda. No, no, no. No? Okay, then. Stay on by, I can assure you. <laughs> now, uh, Jacinda, uh, uh, you know, uh, another big talking point, uh, you know, and a lot of people are still coming back to this, uh, in terms of your lack of experience, if you do, uh, you know, are uh, successful uh, this Saturday, how confident uh, can New Zealand be in someone that maybe not as much, uh, you know, experience uh, as opposed to... Uh, uh, others, you know, won't let, you know, in, in the opposition. Yeah, well, I've I've been in Parliament for nine years. Uh, before that, I worked um, for Helen Clark uh, when she was in government. I worked alongside her team in office, so I certainly know and understand uh, what it takes to run a coalition government as well. And I bring with me that experience as well as some international experience working abroad. But actually, I also bring a different approach. I don't think we should keep doing politics as usual. I will collaborate. I will work together uh, on issues. And that might make me um, a bit different than perhaps um, some of some of my, my other counterparts. But I've also got a great team around me. Of course, uh, you, never run, you never run a cabinet on your own. Uh, I've got people who have been ministers in the past, uh, including people who have been in, in, um, uh, in the Labour Party for some time and who have great experience. And a great Pacifica team and people like Jenny Salisa, um, or Peter um, uh, William Seo, uh, Chris Barfoy, uh, and Carmel Cipollone, an excellent team. Uh, and uh, are they going to serve us really well in office? Jacinda, of course, uh, highlighting, uh, you know, our uh, Pacific Island candidates. Talk to us about the, you know, the policies of Labour, specifically targeting our uh, Pacific communities, please. There are some that are really specific. Like, for instance, we want to make sure that we keep enhancing um, uh, the learning and the preservation of uh, language in New Zealand. I see us as having a real responsibility uh, within the Pacific to make sure we nurture those languages. So we've got policies that are focused on that. We know, for instance, we lost some of our learning resources um, uh, for our Samoan ECE, so we want to turn, turn that around. Um, but also making sure that we're uh, uh, acting on issues that affect the Pacific more broadly, things like climate change. You know, we know our neighbours in Kiribati are already seeing the effects of that. So I want to see us not only tackling that issue in New Zealand, but making sure we're ready for whatever climate refugees we might have uh, in the future from our Pacific neighbours. But also then it just gets back to the basics. You know, I'm members of the Pacifica community who say to me, what, you, what will you do about wages? What will you do about housing and health? Big focus is for labour. We'll lift the minimum wage to $16.50 an hour. Uh, we'll make sure that we focus on affordable housing. We want to build more homes, build more state homes, uh, and get more young people into home ownership. Uh, and again, that families package, making sure we're getting more support to our families um, who need it most. Uh, 
You know, having said that, just last night I watched a video made by students in Kelston, young people, all saying, please vote for us. And the thing they were asking for was vote for education. Uh, we want to make education more accessible, uh, particularly uh, for those going into tertiary and polytech and apprenticeships, making it much cheaper. Um, and finally, health. I'm talking a lot about that today because we know that uh, it's getting more expensive to go to the doctor. Uh, we want to invest back in healthcare to make that cheaper so that half of New Zealand will pay $8 or less to go to the GP. All of these things, I think, will really uh, benefit our, our communities. Jacinda, uh, going back to nine years uh, for yourself uh, in Parliament, if you think back to the, you know, the, the values and the reasons as to you know, why you first entered into politics and nine years fast forward, do you think uh, you're still true to those initial values or have you had to compromise yourself in, no. in any way? Oh, look, there's, you know, absolutely true to what I always stood for, and that is, you know, looking after, putting people first, putting, you know, families first, really doing what we can to make sure they've got everything they need to thrive. That's never changed for me. Of course, along the way, you always listen. You hear people when they say that actually they want this tweaked or that tweaked, but, but listening is about leadership as well, hearing what people would like you to do. Uh, and so, no, I feel really, you know, really really good about the fact that things that brought me to politics are still the things that I'm I'm doing now. And for the Saturday, where you're going to be at uh, HQ, of course? No, uh, well, Saturday night, I certainly will be. Awesome. Well, uh, oh, Jacinda, one, one last question. Is it Ardern or Adern? Ah, wow. If you ask my, um, if you asked my nana when she was around, it would have been um, Ardern. Um, but if you ask my sister, it's Arden. I take anything. Uh, I've had much worse things than obviously the use of my surname. So um, Ardern, though, is probably too, too technically correct. And Jacinda, it's a very unique name. What, what does it mean? Um, it means, um, it means beautiful, um, which I would rather trade for the meaning of my sister's name, which is like warrior. Um, but, um, but yes, it's a name simply that my parents settled on because it was the only thing that they wouldn't, weren't arguing over. So there you go. Well, beautiful indeed, a beautiful campaign and wishing you uh, all the very best Well, for thank hopefully you. a beautiful result this Saturday. Uh, Jacinda so Ardern, leader of the Labour Party, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Bye.